guys! In this video, I will be giving you all my advice for studying for math. I've struggled a lot with math in the past, and I know that it's a subject you can't approach the same way you do with other subjects like history or biology, and it's really important to have methods that work specifically for your math classes. Something that I found has helped me so much organization-wise for my math classes is to set aside a specific notebook just for my math extra practice and my homework assignments. And I used to keep all of these assignments on separate like loose leaf sheets of ruled paper that I would just put in my binder or expandable file folder. And it was got disorganized so easily and it was really hard for me to reference back to specific assignments. And I use this graph paper spiral notebook from Rhodia that really, really helps me because first of all, the spiral isn't in the middle of the notebook, like horizontally, so that way it doesn't like hurt my hand since I'm a lefty. And it's also got graph paper, which is helpful for any time I need to graph a function. So really having a separate space for all of your assignments and extra practice is really going to help keep everything in order. As you complete your homework for math, make sure you mark any questions by either circling it or highlighting it. If you don't understand how to get the answer, if you don't know how to approach it, or if you've gotten the wrong answer after checking your work. And if you do this, you'll definitely be able to ask your teacher about this error and you'll be able to understand why you got it wrong. It's a really bad idea to ignore the problems you've gotten wrong as you do homework and just kind of move on because those mistakes could be the very mistakes that you make on a test or a quiz. It's always an awesome idea to make sure you keep track of any formulas and properties you need to remember for a unit, especially if you're going to have a test on it. I've seen so many of my friends overlook like properties and formulas and then on the test they end up getting a couple of things wrong just because they neglected to look at these properties and things like that. I found it's really helpful for me to either make flashcards or like a mini summary foldable just so I can keep my memory fresh. If a particular formula is giving you a hard time, don't aim to memorize it. Instead, aim to understand the formula itself. For example, like the derivative of a natural log, I usually will think of as one over the mess times derivative of the mess. And that's an easy way for me to remember that the mess is the function that the natural log is associated with rather than just an X, which is an easy mistake a lot of people make. So if you really try to put formulas in your own terms, you'll be able to remember them better later. For me personally, the best way for me to study for math is to do practice problems and actually solve them out myself. Reading through a textbook and flipping through worked out examples don't help me at all. And I found that since all of my tests test me on my ability to solve out math problems. The only way for me to study to do that is to solve them myself. There are a ton of awesome resources for this. If you're an AP math class, you can get like a prep book, you can use your textbook, you can look on Google and you can find all sorts of resources. I like the website KUTA. There are tons and tons of worksheets with solutions that you can check your work with. And it's just really, really important to practice as much as you can because math is a skill, it's not something that you inherently know, and so practice definitely makes perfect. Since I'm an auditory learner, if I ever have trouble understanding a concept or topic, I always go to YouTube and I search in the topic that I'm covering in math at the moment, and every time I've done that, I've always found at least a couple videos of either math teachers working out example problems, them going through their lecture, explaining the concept, or even just Khan Academy Academy videos with worked out like problems and that really helps me solidify concepts and just reviewing how to do different types of problems. My last tip for studying math is definitely don't be afraid to ask for help. But if you're asking for help, especially from a busy teacher, make sure you're doing it in the right way. If you're asking about a specific problem, make sure you've at least attempted to solve that problem once or twice on your own. You could easily catch like a careless mistake that you've made the first time you tried it. And if all else fails and you still just really don't understand the problem, definitely ask for help. I know that teachers are usually more than willing to help you out. And if you can't get help from your teacher, ask a friend or a parent or really anyone who's taken the class that you are currently in. I hope this video helped you guys if you're struggling a little bit in math and I wish you all the best of luck. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. You can add me on Snapchat and follow me on Instagram and my Tumblr account. Bye guys!